Hey guys, welcome. So, Kachi OS and DNS. So uh, last month, uh, maybe it was uh, a little less, I showed how to do instantaneous power off and reboot icons. Uh, those videos you will find on my uh, YouTube site. I have well over 500 videos. Uh, subscription key is there. So today I'm filming in uh, 4K. I'm gonna talk about your Kachi OS hello screen and also manually. Um, assigning DNS on your machine. So change DNS server is right there. Now, before I do that, I'm going to open up my network icon and let you see I'm using wired and I'm gonna click it to let you see that the IP version four primary name server, in other words, DNS, is not the default gateway. Usually if this number matches, you're probably using whatever your router is using. And your router is more than likely using your internet service provider, otherwise known as ISP. I'm not here. So I'm using two different services. So in the past, I used to uh, recommend going to a free DNS service and use their primary and backup server. Uh, however, I've changed my uh, beliefs and uh, basically I'm gonna suggest you go with two different kind of service providers. That way you the chances of both of them going down are slim. Now, how do I change this? Well, I'm gonna do it first from here, changing DNS, okay? So these are the only selections currently, and I'm using wired, okay? So I will change this to Yandex. Don't know too much about that, other than I'm gonna hit apply. So you're running a, a background uh, terminal command that ends with system CTL, restart network manager, is what you're doing here. Just put in your password and hit OK. It'll reset your network card. All right, well now let's look at our settings. Now the primary has got a bunch of sevens, two eights, and an 8.8. .8. The secondary is two sevens, two eights, 8 .1. So that's that service. Okay, if I change this over to Google, let's go take a peek at our settings now. We have uh, Google's primary and Google's secondary server. How do I know all that? So first of all, let's find out what DNS is. Um, AI is uh, answering the question and I think it's fairly accurate. Uh, I don't put a lot of stock into everything AI does, but it's fairly accurate. It does translate human readable domain names like google.com, amazon.com into machine readable IP addresses and it has numbers. That's basically all we need to know what DNS does. And anytime you use a web browser on your computer, your tablet or smartphone, you need DNS, domain name system. The yellow pages of the internet is what I call that. Free DNS for 2025. We can get lots of answers. Cloudflare, got Google Public, OpenDNS. Uh, I've been using them for years, Quad9. And then we have a bunch of web pages that also list a lot of things. All right, Livewire has had this chart up for a while, so I'm just gonna show it. Uh, always check your numbers and always check to make sure that uh, articles that you're looking at from previous past are fairly up to date. Okay, that one does say 2025 on it. And here's a nice chart for you. Let me go look at this. And what do we have currently? Bunch of eights, two eights and two fours. That's obviously Google. I use that um, tool here called Kachi Hello, change DNS. Again, you get it from just apps and tweaks. What if you wanna do this manually? You can, and I most of the time I do. Right click on the icon, configure network con connections. You can also look for that in the menu, but uh, IP version four. Now you can see that Google is actually plugged in here. Going back to my charts, four eights, two eights, and two fours. All right, if you can't see that, there's a comma in between those numbers. 
there are two sets of numbers. So I will pick something different from the chart. Again, I'm very fond of this one. And uh, how do I know all about OpenDNS? Well, they're owned by Cisco, for one, if you know what Cisco routers are. They're the backbone. A lot of them are the backbone of the internet. But uh, let's just look for that manually. OpenDNS. The official website is OpenDNS.com. They're owned by Cisco. They do a lot of enterprise stuff. All right, so they got they use cookies, and I'm going to get rid of it. Down at the bottom of their page, if your cookie sign is covering that, just click it out of the way. But there's those numbers I just made mention of, ending with 222 and 220. They're right. Sorry, where's that chart? Uh, there's the chart. There they are, for convenience purposes. I'll turn that off now. What if I wanted to make this screen the same? Well, which service do you want to use? You could use Cloudflare primary and secondary. I don't recommend that anymore. Even Cloudflare took a hit uh, three weeks ago. They went down on and off for, I, I think it was a couple days. They were on and off. I didn't see an outage because my primary is usually hit this one. But I usually use a mixed environment. So I'm going to show you how to plug in an OpenDNS and Cloudflare. All right, so I still have this network settings open. So let me cover this one more time. Right click, configure. IP version 4, get rid of that. Just delete them. All right, what do you want to use out of this chart? That's your choice, whatever you feel comfortable with. A lot of people feel not comfortable with Google. They think they sell your personal information too easily. So be it. It's still a free service. All of these are top free public DNS service providers. I'm going to use this one as my guinea pig. Copy that. DNS server, paste. Make sure you put a comma behind it so you can put your next set of numbers for your secondary server. My secondary server, I'm gonna make Cloudflare. And the nice thing about this nice little chart is just convenient for me. However, I know these for a fact because I've been using them for years. So I know they're legitimate numbers. But just be careful what you paste off the internet. All right, so I have a 208.67.222.222. If you wanna call it period, that's 208 period. 67 period, 222 period, 222, then a comma, one period, one period, one period, one period, or 1.1.1.1. One dot one dot one dot one. Now hit apply. This is not immediate. When you close the screen, please reset your card. All you gotta do is disconnect and wait a second because it's deactivated right now and then I'm gonna reconnect. As soon as I do that, it issues the same command like out of terminal to reconnect. And now I have primary is 20867 ending with 222 and the secondary name server or DNS ends with a bunch of ones. So that is OpenDNS and Cloudflare. Now I'm using a mixed environment. What are the chances of both of these servers going down? Pretty slim. If I had the primary server as, uh, let's say, Cloudflare, and the secondary, which is actually 1.0.0.1, you can see it on the chart, um, then if Cloudflare goes down, you just lost DNS. That's why I recommend a mixed environment. I have lots of these kind of videos on my YouTube site. Thank you for watching.